Visitor, don't make any trouble here, or else you'll be for it. I just want to have a look around here. Then mind you don't step on anybody's feet. I want to go into the mine. I can hardly believe you'll manage that, but just speak to Okil. I'd better be going. I hope. We understand each other. Hey, you! You got no business!
Who are you? I'm Oko. I'm the boss of the Hollow. I'll just have a look around here. Then just watch out that you don't mess up here in the hollow, else you'll be in your grave faster than you'd like to think. I just wanted to have a glance into the mine. Oh, you just wanted to stroll into the mine. Suppose you don't have a clue what's going on here. Nobody sets a foot in the mine without my permission. Always remember. Will I be allowed to go in? I don't even know you. Why should I let you go into the mine? Now scram! I have things to see to. I need to go on. Then leave me alone! Hey, you! You're not one of my men. What are you doing here? I need to go on. Then leave me alone! Hey, you! You, what's up? Hi. You're walking about here as if you were searching for something. Really? Hmm. Maybe you're right. Why? Great. Ask me. Maybe I can help you. What did you have in mind? What do you need? What about a good sword, thick armor, or access to the mine? Ah, oh, no. That's nothing. I can give you something that'll make your eyes pop out of their sockets. I can give you a weapon that will defeat any foe. You only need to do me a small favor, then it'll be yours. What do you say? No, no, just leave it. I'm not interested. Well then, as you wish. You've had your chance. I thought about it. I'd like to get back to your offer now. It's too late now. You've had your chance. Who are you? I'm the best mining engineer this damn colony has ever seen, my boy. I make sure half our boys don't go getting themselves killed by fallen rocks just because they're too stupid to scrape the right places. I'd like to join you as a scraper. Oh, yeah? Well, just don't think you're gonna get anything much out of it. There's three portions of rice a day. Any extra, you'll have to see to yourself. Do you know why we're doing this? We're doing this job so one day we can all walk out of here to freedom. Well, that means all the ores to be handed in. Then it goes on the big ore mound. And once a month, everybody who's been working here gets 50 ore to get stoned on. That's the most important things you ought to know. Do you at least have any experience on the job? 
Yes. Good. Then you know what to watch out for. Here's your protective clothing. You'll have to find your own pickaxe. Enjoy yourself! How much ore have you collected so far? The mages say that we won't need much more. Go to the new camp and have a look at the mound. What are you doing at the mine here? I just wanted to have a look around the camp. Then you come to the wrong place. Because this is the mine entrance, and you're not admitted here. I just wanted to see the mine. Suppose you can see that the mine is locked, so there's absolutely nothing for you to see. Is there nothing we can do about it? What should there be to do about it? One moment. If you were trying to bribe me, you have the wrong man here. No, I wasn't trying to bribe anybody. I just thought that... I guess I'd best be going.
That's really nice.
Can you tell me anything about the mine? Well, this part we're standing in now is the main shaft. A system of catwalks takes you down to the bottom. And they're digging for ore everywhere. But you need to be careful. There are many mine crawlers there as well. Right at the bottom is the smelting place. We're smelting a part of the ore to use it right there. What do I need to look out for in the mine? Mine crawlers, mainly. Dangerous beasts. We've had to give up a few caves because of them. They've eaten quite a few diggers, too. Tell me about the crawlers. Oh, but my tongue's so dry. You bring me a beer, and I'll tell you something about the crawlers. Here, drink to my health. Thanks. Well, crawlers live in large packs, mostly in the side caves. They've never attacked us here in the main shaft yet. If you ever meet one of them, run. Or stand with your back to the wall. That way you may stand a chance. Tell me more about it. If you want to know more, go to Viper. He's the smelter. Or talk to Ian. He's the boss. He organizes everything here in the mine. Where can I find Ian? He's right in the middle of the main shaft, next to the storeroom. Oh, one more thing. You know Thoris, don't you? Forget him. There's just one person who has the say in here, and that's Ian. He's the boss. If you get into trouble with him, you'll be in trouble with us all. Understood? See ya. What should I keep in mind when I'm in the mine? Beware of the mine crawlers. The further you get down, the closer you get to the beasts. Those rotten creatures come directly from Beliar's realm. You can hear them scraping and scratching. They're sitting in the dark just waiting for you. I've seen them kill. They're merciless and fast. If you enjoy being alive, you shouldn't be down here. You better go before something happens to you. What should I beware of the there Can I trade things with you? I have everything you need. What I don't have is no use to you anyway.
How's things? I have a deal to suggest. If you make Aaron leave the chest alone, I'll give you ten ore. I'll see you later. Yeah, sure. What are you doing here? I'm watching diggers like snipes over there to make sure they keep their hands off my chest. Ian sent me. You should go to see him at once. What does he want? No idea. Ian will tell you that himself. Do you think he'd tell me something like that? Then I'll go to see him. You owe me ten ore. Here, yeah, you've already earned the ten ore. Oh, and one more thing. I have the key to his chest as well. For you, only thirty ore. Give me the key. You made good business there. I just wonder what you get out of it. I'm always glad when I can get one over on the guards. And if they found the content of the chest with me, I'd be a dead man. I'll see you later. Yeah, sure. What's in the storeroom? That's none of your business. Standing around for so long must make you thirsty. You bet, man. I could use a good swig now. Got anything on you? Here you go. Have one on me as well. Thanks. Is there anything special in the storeroom now? Some chests that we store supplies in. The keys disappeared, though. Disappeared? I bet Aleph was involved. That guy can't be trusted. Listen, Ian and the others are sitting at the bottom, having grilled meat. What? Without me? Well, I'll collect my share. Face. Have you ever dug ore, boy? Have you been here long? I've already been here ten years. Oh, believe me, I've learned and experienced quite a lot here. I've encountered many dangers and managed to stay alive. In the old times, when we worked in the abandoned mine, the one which is deserted now, and the supporting beams collapsed. But that's old stories. You must have heard about many escape plans as well. Listen, boy, I know you want to get out of here, but forget it. You better forget the thought of escape. I saw the faces of those who tried to get out of the barrier. Don't make the same mistake. The barrier will stop everybody. I don't want to dig in the mine for the next 10 years of my life. No, you won't. Perhaps you'll be one of the real big shots. <laughs> Who knows? You'll work your way up. But no matter how far you'll get, the barrier will finally stop you. Good luck. 
Same to you, boy. Same to you. Hey, you! If you try to make a fool out of me again, you've had it. You got that? Can I trade things with you? Yep. Anything you want, if you have ore. Diego sent me. I'm to collect the list. All right, here's the list. Tell him to hurry up with the deliveries. Are you Ian, the boss of the mine? Yeah, I'm Ian, and this is my mine. So don't touch or break anything. Isn't that Gomez's mine? Yeah, of course, this is the mine of the old camp. But in here, there's only one boss, and that's me. Can you tell me something about the ore production here? We dig for ore day and night. This means a storage of 200 sacks per month, and another 20 sacks which will be melted down. Hundreds of blades can be forged with the ore we supply to the gang. I've heard that the ore has magical qualities. Tell me about it. The magic ore does have special qualities. Weapons forged from it don't break. Their blades are sharper than usual ones. An army equipped with these weapons has a decisive advantage in battle. Tell me more about the ore. Unfortunately, the magic powers of the ore vanish during the smelting process. They know the right smelting technique in the blast furnaces of Nordmar. But even without the magic powers, weapons made from this ore are extremely resistant and do more damage than normal weapons. Tell me about the mine. If you want to look around here, you need to be careful. There are mine crawlers in the caves. You better stay in the main shaft and leave the Templars alone. Even if they only hang around most of the time, they're the best fighters you can ever have at your side when it comes down to the crawlers. I'll keep that in mind. I have some work to do and don't keep my boys from doing their work. I'll just have a look around here. I'll just have a look around. Don't make any trouble. What do you know about the mine crawlers? The crawlers must have a nest somewhere. If we only knew where, we could destroy the whole brood. May the sleeper protect you.